Okay, first period. Um, we didn't get through this all in class on Wednesday, and so I just wanted to kind of walk through it really quick so that um, you had it and we could go over it before you take a quiz today. So we did this one together, I'm pretty sure, and then um, we just hadn't done any of the others. So if you had already done them, you can just kind of breeze through really quick and check to see what the, that you got the right answers. But if you haven't done them, you might want to just kind of pay attention and see how they're done. So again, we're just trying to determine if these sides create a right triangle. One thing I noticed in all my other classes um, was that a lot of them just keep assuming that this last one is the biggest one, but it's not. 12.5 in this case is the biggest one, and so that one is C. Okay, so don't make the mistake of just assuming they're in numerical order. So then this one would be A and B or vice versa. So when I put this together, I have 7.5 squared plus 10 squared, and I want to know, does that equal 12.5 squared? I got my calculator. <clears throat> so 7.5 squared, and I'm just going to kind of do it all in one, plus 10 squared is 156.25 and then 12.5 squared is 156.25 okay so that means that these are equal and that means that this is a right triangle okay uh, this one right here again they're not in numerical order 16 is the biggest number there so that one is c Okay, so this one could be A and B, doesn't matter which one's which. So 9 squared plus 11 squared, and I want to know, does that equal 16 squared? So again, I'm just going to do that all in one thing on my calculator. So 9 squared plus 11 squared, enter. So that's 202. And then 16 squared is, oops, I need to do that, 256. Okay, so these are not equal. So the in inequality symbol would be 202 is less than 256. And if you remember when a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, that is an obtuse triangle. Okay. All right, let's talk about this one right here. It says that Patty wants a triangular garden in her backyard for all of her vegetables. She's going to use three pieces of fencing that measure seven feet, 10 feet, and eight feet. Will her garden be in the shape of a right triangle? Prove it. So here's our side lengths of our triangle. We just need to figure out which one is C. Again, they're not in numerical order, so you've got to find the biggest one, which is 10. Okay, so that one's going to be C. And then we can make 7A and 8B or flip them. Okay, so now let's prove it. So we've got seven squared plus eight squared, and I wanna know, does that equal 10 squared? Because if it does equal it, then it's a right triangle. If it doesn't, remember it's obtuse or acute. So again, I'm just gonna do this in my calculator all in one step. Makes life a lot easier. So seven squared plus eight squared is 113. And then 10 squared is 100. So those ones do not equal each other. 113 is greater than 100. And then if you read through your notes, you should remember that if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, then this is actually an acute triangle. So it would not be a right triangle. I guess I could put no acute triangle, okay? All right, this one right here is a little tricky. Um, the perimeters of three squares are shown below. Could the three squares be positioned so that they meet to form a right triangle? Prove your answer. So um, perimeter, remember, measures the outside area of a square. And if it's a square, all, all four sides are equal. So in order to find the side length of these squares, which I need to do in order to see if they can be made into a triangle, I have to divide them all by four. Okay, so when I divide 48 by 4, I get that this one's side length is 12. And 140 divided by 4 is 35. So this one's side length is 35. 
148 divided by 4 is 37. So now I have side lengths, and I'm going to do the same thing I did up here in proving to see if it's just a right triangle, right? So my biggest one is 37, so that's my C. So we'll make this one A, this one B, and this one C. So I want to know if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then I will have these, these squares could form a right triangle when put together. So 12 squared is 144. Oh, I just could have just done this in my calculator like I did before. 35 squared is 1255, or 1225, sorry. 37 squared is 1369. These two added together is 1369. So 1369 equals 1369, so yes they would make a right triangle. Okay, that's it, that's all. All right, I just wanted to make sure you guys had that. Thanks.